Hey folks, this is Nikos here and I'm with Thorsten from Aronia. This is a drone defence company. This is a new huge industry, talking about is a, a billion pound, billion dollars a year, uh, new industries for drone defence. And I'm at this uh, exposition here and this is uh, one of the coolest stands in the area. The coolest stand. Yeah, it's got, uh, it's got a nice carpet, it's got big metal railings and uh, radars and things like that. So, I just wonder if you can tell us uh, how you how you got into um, this industry and um, where you see it heading. Yeah, we started about uh, four years ago with the first drone detector. So we made drone detectors before anybody else thought about it. Really? Uh, and now we have uh, Generation 4 just shown on our booth. Yeah. So now we have a much higher range, up to 20 kilometer. And uh, we can also uh, show the remote, of course, and the drones and also swarm attacks. Now we also have 3D topographic data, for instance, that's very new. Uh, we are now integrating uh, optical systems so that we can also track the drone visually. Right. Uh, the day and night version and the panorama view. So it's coming step by step. So you can detect drones 20 kilometers away? Yes. With a, some kind of radar system, is that? No, it's RF detection, so it's totally right. passive, so nobody will know that you are detecting it. You have okay. no emissions. Okay. So you can also use it on airports. Okay. So do you, are you detecting continuous uh, signals, or do you detect something like the pairing signal from the, uh, the RF um, antenna and um, transmitter? Yeah, we detect any RF. So right. we can also detect uh, cell phones or car keys or whatsoever and show them on the maps. And then we will have a so-called RF mapping and have a real-time of the whole area uh, concentrated on RF emissions. Oh, I see. So we have a slider in the future where you can say, okay, now I want to see all the cell phones, now all the car keys, whatsoever. And you can also go back into the past and say, show me the data, I don't know, a year ago, and can compare them with today, and then I can see if there's any suspicious difference. Maybe you can show me some of this cool stuff you've got in the exhibit. Uh, yeah, we can just make a box through yeah. and then okay. we go. Action, okay. So this is the world's smallest uh, drone detection system. It's simply a Rajat laptop with an inbuilt receiver and our drone detection software and a 3D antenna which you can see over here. And there you can monitor uh, about 9 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz in one step and see all activities on the laptop. But with this system you can't tell where the location of the drone or the operator is. It just tells you it is there, it shows the energy, but you can't tell the location. But that's why it's cheaper and low. This cost. this is just a standalone piece of equipment? Yeah. yeah. You just okay. power it on and that's it. No what? no power supply, no nothing. And what kind of range will that give you? Yeah range is about two kilometer. That's that's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, okay, so the next detector would be that. So that's uh, the next step. The next step is a portable drone detector. So you get a command center where you need power, of course, from the car, from the truck. And the detection antenna is this black one over there. And that's a 360. And there you can tell the direction where the drone is coming from or where the operator is. So you can see a lot of drones here in the hall. This is our position on the map. Right. And you see a lot of changing tracks because the mo people move between the antenna and the drone. So the target direction is of course reflected. And that is it's why it's moving like crazy. In these reality... These drones that are actually here? Yeah, they're really here. If you have a look over here, for instance there, this uh, yellow one, yeah. you can see the blinking drone over there from uh, other stand. Yeah. And this red one is always going on and off. That's something over there where we... So really see the activity, what's going on here. I just love this vehicle yeah. of rig you've got for the... Yeah. So you can put everything in the trailer, just fire it up. You can put a big battery inside and then it would be totally autonomous. Yeah. Um, and if you add a second antenna, then we can have... So that's if you add 
two or more antennas, then you can also tell exactly the position where the drone is coming from. So you can see three drones here. Okay, now it's restarting. We have to wait a few seconds. So let's have a look on the 3D. So that's where you can see the, the drone, how high it's flying, including all JATAs, GPS, flight information, frequency and so on. And then you can add a 3D camera to it and follow the drone with the camera. And the next step is uh, to integrate topographic data. The topographic data, that's what we are doing here. For instance, this is the map of uh, Switzerland. So we have all the hills and uh, mountains. <laughs> and you can see the drones flying here in between. Those are the two antennas. And these are the drones flying. Yeah. Such an awesome package you got here. Yeah. Killer. Top marks for uh, presentation today. <laughs> okay, and okay. Uh, we can go further. What we yeah. can do? So this is only drones. And the next step. Hey, why monitor more RF? And that's what we can do here. So here we can say, okay, I can also monitor different bands at the same time without humping. So I can monitor cell phones, or walkie-talkies, or uh, car keys, uh, whatsoever, at the same time without any gap in the time domain. And we can see it over here. You can see it in 3D, you can see all the data coming and analyzing, and as soon as something new is popping up, it will give you an alarm. And over here you can see how it's working. Oh, this is the coolest dashboard of all this one. Yeah, so here you can see all bands at the same time. You see the GSM 900, GSM 1800, 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, cell phones and uh, walkie-talkies. So that's the real activity going on here in the booth or at the trade show. Yeah. Carson from Aronia. Yeah, got it. He doesn't like anything between him and his daddy. <laughs> yeah! Does it, does it do anything at all? What does it yeah, do? it finds explosives. It finds explosives, right? Yes. Explosives are so. It's kind of a neat trick. So it's just big. Is he friendly? Very. Yeah, yeah exactly. You might want to turn your fluffy thing on top of your camera, right? Oh, yeah, it is a fluffy thing, right? Explosive of dogs. Yeah. What does he do with the explosive once he finds it? Just bark or something? <laughs> he stays well clear of it. <laughs> does he? he doesn't eat it. He points it out to the handler. So what, what, is a, what kind of dog is this? He's a Belgian Shepherd. Belgian Shepherd. And how big will he get? Um, as big as he is now. Really? Yeah. He's lovely. He is. Gorgeous. This is Laurent from Drone Vault. And he's going to explain what are these various really interesting custom drones. So if you could tell us a little bit about your company or... Yeah, company uh, Dronevolt has been founded in uh, 2011 and uh, today we're exhibited as the SCTX London uh, to present a couple of uh, solutions that we have. We have a drone that uh, flies 24-7, for example, with a tethered and a power station. Uh, we also have uh, this uh, VTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing. This is the Ellie plane, which is the last development of the company, where you can uh, fly for more than an hour, no problem, and uh, carry thermal camera and a bunch of uh, different sensors. What does it do? Uh, basically, it's the advantage of a multi-rotor, where you have four motors that just take off uh, vertically with the drone, yeah. and then there's a transition uh, transition that occurs where it uh, becomes a plane. So you just take the advantage oh, of uh, really? having a plane together with a drone. So oh, right. basically, you just need one or two that's, square that's meters. That's clever. All right, what about this big thing over here? Here, this drone is the Hercules 5 Unlimited Flight. So, as you can see, it is uh, powered from the ground. Uh, so you get a generator that powers the drone 24/7, where you can fly continuously and have a point of view up to 100 meters in the sky. Okay. And 100, 100 meters. Yeah. yeah. The cable is 100 meter. You plug it to a regular rig or to a generator. And did you actually manufacture these things? Yeah, so we're a French manufacturer. Really? It's yeah. really close to Paris at the Wasserschaft Airport. Lots of carbon fiber I see yeah. here and stuff. Yeah, light. 
light and uh, heavy duty drones. All right. Uh, what is what is this drone do? This one is the Hercules 10 uh, solution with uh, the protector uh, device mounted on it, where you have pepper spray, three pepper spray systems here. Oh, it's like crowd control, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All carbon fiber. Yeah. What kind of uh, how, how powerful are these motors? Uh, you can lift up to 13 kilograms of uh, payload under this drone. So basically it can take off with more than 15 kilograms. Okay, I see. Alright, and finally this one over here. This one is the Zenit Altura from uh, Aerialtronics. Uh, again, you can see a lot of carbon fiber. Yeah. Uh, this one is made uh, basically to carry the Pensar camera that we developed in house. That you can see here, it might be good to what do you mean? Uh, show the camera where you can have a face recognition, yeah. object yeah. detection, and you can track object and recognize car plates, no problem. So it detects you uh, as a person. Okay. Okay, well, thanks, uh, thanks Laurent, and uh, thanks for the exposition. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank